everyone from me, Brent Graham, welcome to this quick betting preview of the tour match for the British and Irish Lions against South African A, taking place at the Cape Town Stadium later tonight. I'm just on the good for the game a preview at the moment, and just a bit of information there. We got Piper refing and all important weather forecast as well. And let's go and have a look at what the weather's going to be doing tonight. This is 8 p.m. now in Cape Town. Conditions look like they're going to be good. There was quite bad weather in Cape Town early in the week, but from by all accounts, it's nice and still there now. The wind is not too heavy, and uh, we only have humidity levels of sort of 75%, not too bad for 8 o'clock in the evening. Conditions should be good. Just having a look at 9 o'clock, which the game will obviously carry over into, and not a lot of change there at all. Uh, going down in the preview, and you can get this, of course, on goodforthegame.co.za. We've got the team selections, which I suppose are crucial here. I mean, we can talk about the Lions' form. They've won all three of their matches convincingly, although the Sharks in the second game at Loftus did hold them to 26 all at the break. Uh, personally, been a very profitable tour for me so far. Let's hope that can continue. Now, you wouldn't normally see a South African A side like this with pretty much a World Cup winning, winning side running out there, but... Because of the fact that the Georgia test was cancelled and uh, quite frankly, the bot management need to give some of these guys a good run. So here we've got virtually a full strength Springbok side coming out here. And it's going to be very, very interesting indeed to see how all of the players uh, sort of approach the game. A British and Irish Lions, there's no such thing as a weak Lions team on this tour. Plenty of strength there as well. We've got the top try scorer, Josh Adams on the wing. I see he's about 7-1 to one to score the first try, but we'll have a look at the betting now. But quality sides both of them. So we know there's good weather. There's two top teams here. You've got to say that the Lions are going to be the sharper of the sides. You you would expect it uh, due to due to more time together and a bit of match practice. But we'll go on to World Sports Betting and have a look at some of the betting markets here. I can tell you a bit of a drift, South Africa. You know, they did open close to a choice game early in the week. They were 13 to 10 this morning, now 14 to 10 the win. The draw at 25 to 1. Well, you don't punt the draw with any confidence, but it can be a fun bet sometimes. And who knows, it could arrive. But for me, the bet here is the 7-10 to 10 that the British and Irish Lions win the game. I expect them to be sharper. And at the end of the day, one thing I don't expect here is a fourth test. And I'm not saying it won't be intense. But at the end of the day, people are talking this up as the Lions box, as if it's a test match. It's not. Ultimately, both sides are still preparing for a next weekend's test match. And I don't think it's going to be quite the intensity of a test. And I also think things like um, kicks for post. I'm not saying we won't get any, but... Yeah, quite often I think, oh, well, let's go for the corner and try to move rather than uh, just kick for the post all the time. Anyway, that's how I'm reading the game. But let's go have a look at some of the other markets. Uh, that's the sort of alternative handicaps. Uh, here we got the handicap, yeah, plus two and a half South Africa, minus two and a half the British and Irish lines. I'm not getting involved in the cap, but I would be leaning towards the minus there. Team to score the first try, a bit of a lottery, but eight to ten British and Irish lines is probably fair enough. First stoppage in play, not a market I like to get involved in. Uh, Half-time, full-time, interesting markets. He's also not one of my favorites. You've got the Lions, Lions trading at 11 to 10, South Africa, South Africa, 21 to 10. And, yeah, you can get combinations like South Africa, A to V earlier, the British and Irish Lions to win at 6 to 1. Half-time, I'm not much of a half-time punter. There's the, uh, the market that I like to look at. The total points, 46 and a half. Uh, because of the good conditions and the fact that I think the sides will play with a bit more freedom than they would in test matches, I am leading towards over 46 and a half. But I did this morning take, and, and it's in the good for the game preview, I did take the uh, 11 to 10, 11 to 10 that they score over five and a half tries. So that was my, my first bet in this game. Having a look at home team points, that of course being SAA over or under 22 and a half points and 24 and a half for the Lions. Uh, the tries line, I believe, uh, yeah, there's the number of tries at World Sports Betting. That's at 9 to 10, the pair. So I've got a bit of 11 to 10, so happy I might have got a bit of value there, although uh, it seems like that line's well set. I've been involved in a few conversations on Twitter, and guys seem to uh, be divided on this one. They're either in the unders camp or the overs camp, and I guess that's what bookies want, action on both sides of the line. Let's just skim down, see if any other markets of interest. Some, some of the ones I always enjoy. Uh, did I miss the winning margin one, the 1 to 12 one? I might have. But anyway, let's go down. I want to get to the player markets now and see who's favorite to be the first try scorer. I think it was uh, Adams who was favorite. Let's have a look. Did I skim all the way back up again? Not much good with the mouse here. Here we go. We're getting there. I can tell. There we go. First try scorer, Josh Adams. He's at 15 to 2. You can get uh, Reese Azamat. He's at 8 to 1. Cheslin Colby for South Africa, A, and of course you're trading at 10 and 11 to 1, respectively. Let's go down and see where the hookers are. 
Malcolm Marks, I think, is on the bench. At, uh, he's 14 to 1. Joseph Dweber at 16. I could be wrong there. Let's go let's have a look at those teams. Uh, teams again. Mal yeah. Um, Dweber's actually starting. So he's, you know, a rolling more try. I don't think this line side are going to be easy to push over in a rolling more. But you obviously get lots of hooker tries there as well. And for the for the Lions, let's just make sure who's starting at hooker there. It's Ken Owens, and he's at 16 to 1. That's not bad prices on hookers for first try scorer. You can also get any time try scorer where Adams is trading as 21 to 20 and Zamet at 11 to 10. Right, what is my remaining bet? I already have got on the over five and a half tries. I'm going to go with five units. The British and Irish Lions win at 7 to 10 at World Sports Betting. I just think the Lions are going to be that bit sharper than South Africa, eh? I'm hoping for a fairly high-scoring game. Enjoy it. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our rugby and Tour de France betting previews, and we hope to see you on the Good for the Game forum. Link in the subscription box below.